once again to Eats and Nelson Beauty. I don't know if you guys remember, but a few videos back, I uh, shared with you a look that I did using the not yet released Too Faced Chocolate Bomb Bombs palette. Well, I wanted to try it out a little bit more before I actually sat here and gave you my final review. Okay guys, so here is the Chocolate Bomb Bombs palette by Too Faced. Look at this beautiful packaging, as always, beautiful. The back, you get a little preview of what the colors look like, but what is seriously beautiful, I mean, is the actual palette itself. It's this beautiful pink, a soft feminine pink color, and then it has the raised hearts, and then when you open it, the same hearts that are out here are the same hearts that are in here and I mean just look at how beautiful this palette looks but before I go into more detail about the colors and all that let me just say a few things about the packaging so besides it looking so pretty and beautiful there are a few things that I wish were done differently for example um, I do like it has a magnetic closure but I don't feel that the magnetic closure is strong enough for instance, if I were to travel with this palette, I would not just put it in like this in my travel bag. I would either pull it, put it in its box or I would wrap a rubber band or a hair tie with it so that it wouldn't accidentally open because I don't feel the magnetic closure is that strong of a hold and I wouldn't want it to get damaged. So I wouldn't just put it like that. I wish it was a bit of a stronger magnet, magnetic apparatus, something. The other thing is I don't like that when you open the palette, the actual, like the closing part where it has the mirror, it lays almost flat. It's almost flat. It's like the angle is all the way down where I wish it had a hinge or something that would keep it up like this. Um, simply because when you put it on a table, it's kind of like, I don't know, I, little things like that. Um, but I do like it, it does have a decent size mirror as you can see here I've used this on the go and this has been uh, ample enough room to look at both eyes and even part of my face and do my makeup which I do like uh, what else can I say I think that's it about the packaging now let's get on to the good fun stuff okay so here are this is what the palette looks like very pretty heart shaped heart shaped pots with the ex exception of these two shadows. This one up here that it's called Satin Sheets and then this one down here that it's called Divinity. Beautiful decision on uh, Too Faced part to make these uh, two shadows the biggest because I believe these two are some that you're gonna probably use at least once in every look or so. I've used both and it's because this one down here is a very nice matte shade that can go as a base to, you know, make blending easier. And then the Satin Sheets is a beautiful highlight shade that I've even used as an actual highlight like on my cheeks because the color is just phenomenal. The color of this one, it's it's hard to explain. If you guys want to see actual live swatches, let me know and I'll be more than happy to do a video. I just don't want to make this too long. But this has like a nice champagne color to it, but then sometimes, it depends on how you look, it kind of looks yellowish, but a nice yellow, and then kind of sometimes like a green yellow I don't know it's hard to describe and put into words like you literally have to experience it yourself to see the how beautiful this color is and um, the rest of the colors I think they're just beautiful um, you have lots of neutrals but then you also have pops of color uh, you have cotton candy which is a soft very soft pink and once again, if you guys want to see swatches, let me know and I'll do a video. And then you have Totally Fetch, which I am totally in love with this color because it's such a beautiful pink. And then by far, my favorite so far is Earl Grey. Like this color is such a beautiful color for like a smoky look. It's kind of gray with hints of blue. It's hard. It's beautiful. It's all I can say. It's a beautiful color. And then you have black currant, um, but black currant is one of those colors where it looks so beautiful on here, and you think you're gonna get a nice deep 
purple and you don't this is what that color looks like and I'm gonna be honest it's not as intense as it looks here in the package I wish it was much more color payoff than you actually get and another thing I want to mention about this color in particular is that there is a lot of fallout when you use it dry I like to put I like to wet my brush um, before I actually dip it into here and that's how I get less fallout otherwise there's fallout all over and it's just a mess but it's a beautiful color don't get me wrong and then you know mocha nice transition shades are nice you know it's just a beautiful combination of colors that you can get lots of looks out of and then cafe a lot also this one right here I did a look with that and I have a video about that um, but it's also a beautiful color and I, it's hard to describe like I said I can't it's not a silvery bronze antique bronze I don't know I can swatch those if you guys want in another video but you also get a lot of fallout with that one so that's definitely cafe a lot and black current are the two that I notice have a lot a lot of fallout but by far my favorite color out of this palette is molasses chip right here and I'm actually wearing it on the lids right now actually my whole eyebrow not my eyebrow my whole eyeshadow look is using only this palette let me show you how it looks like I don't know if you can tell because I don't know, sometimes you just can't but I love it I love 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 the looks that you can you can get creative you can use these different ways you can make a very simple day look everyday look or you can even go and do a very smoky look I have this on right now that I don't think is that um, it's a very simple look to create and I think it's very it can be very you know everyday or it can be glammed up um, what can I say the colors the pigmentation with the exception of a few like black current but other than that the pigmentation is beautiful the blendability is just they're so easy to blend I have other palettes that are also high-end and they're not as easy to blend and also they're not as creamy I do recommend it I would say if I were to see three three these three palettes the chocolate bar the semi-sweet and this one at the store and I haven't gotten the other ones I would definitely go for this one first because it just has a nice combination of transition neutrals and pop colors and just this highlighter alone right here satin sheets is worth it like that wins me over so what do I give this palette 10 out of 10 I would give it an 8 and I'm gonna be reasonable just for those things that I mentioned that I wish were different I definitely want to get the other two palettes just you know because the quality of this one blew me away the easy the how easy it is to do a look and to blend and if the first two palettes are the, the same quality hey I am getting them eventually slowly but surely uh, I am in love. All I can say is thank you Too Faced, thank you Ipsy OS for uh, choosing me as one of the recipients of this beautiful palette. If you guys have any questions, um, if you guys want to see any swatches, individual swatches of these, uh, just comment down below or visit my Instagram and Snapchat because I'm also on Snapchat and then I also share a few stuff here and there and then um, I might do swatches there or if you guys want a full a YouTube video dedicated just to the swatches let me know and I'll be more than happy to do one for you and um, I think that's it for this video thanks so much for watching guys if you did like this video please remember to thumbs up comment down below and also subscribe if you haven't done so so that you guys can get notification of any other videos that I upload um, which by the way I'm planning to upload a vlog of my adventures at Generation Beauty coming up this January 2016 already 2016 in LA so um, yeah I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to miss that so yes that's it thanks so much for watching guys bye